Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, Takara Jane here. I have a new setup today, but obviously I'm doing something wrong and the quality seems to be dropping. I had so many technical difficulties lately with this, so season two, episode two, I felt like there wasn't really enough for me to put up a full reaction, but the parts that I do think is worthwhile, I shall insert now. I'm not gonna lie, the last one was very emotional, so I'm wondering how this one's gonna pan out. Well, that's not creepy at all. Oh my god. If he ends up in her room now, I'm done. Oh my god, this is terrifying. Take your little bells elsewhere, creepy ass clown. Oh my god, what? How is she not terrified right now? No, this is the creepiest thing. I like the new font title sequence thing. Wait, is that the dad? No. Because the body's burnt, does that mean he can't come back in a ghost farm either? Did he say anything to you? Yeah, yeah he did. Oh, Dean. You're coming like his dad? These secrets? Oh, don't cry. He's gonna cry even more when he sees his car. Everybody loves a clown. Hmm. Debatable. We've been at Bobby's for over a week now and you haven't brought up Dad once. You know what, you're right. Come here. I'm gonna lay my head gently on your shoulder. Maybe we can cry, and hug, and maybe even slow dance. Don't patronize me, Dean. Dad is dead. The cult is gone and it seems pretty damn likely that the demon is behind all of this and you're acting like nothing you happened. Say something! Two badass chicks. Sam, Dean. Winchester? Yeah. Hey, I'm Ellen. My daughter, Joe. We're all right. Really? I know how close you and your dad were. Really, lady, I'm fine. There he goes again, whacking those barriers up, pushing people away. That whole, uh, I don't want to go back to school. Thing. Just saying that to Cooper, or were you saying it? Yeah, has it changed now that the dad's gone? Sam, I don't know. You don't know. Doesn't want to leave Dean on his own. I thought that once the demon was dead and fat lady sings that you were going to take off, head back to Wussy State. I'm having second thoughts. Really? Yeah, I think. Dad would have wanted me to stick with the job. Since when do you give a damn what Dad wanted? You spent half your life doing exactly what he didn't want, Sam. Since he died. I just want to make sure you're okay. Dude, I'm okay. I'm okay, okay? I swear the next person who asks me if I'm okay, I'm gonna start throwing punches. These are your issues. Quit dumping them on me. What are you talking about? I just think it's really interesting, the sudden obedience you have to Dad. It's like, oh, what would Dad want me to do? Sam, you spent your entire life slugging it out with that man. I mean, hell, you, you picked a fight with him the last time you ever saw him, and now that he's dead, now you want to make it right? Well, I'm sorry, Sam, but you can't. It's too little, too late. Why are you saying this to me? Because I want you to be honest with yourself about this. I'm dealing with Dad's death. Are you? Rakshasa. What's that? That one's best Rakshasa, guess. that was in Lost Girl. of ancient Hindu creatures. They appear in human form. They feed on human flesh. They can make themselves invisible, and they cannot enter a home without first being invited. So they dress up like clowns, and the children invite them in. Yeah. Is it gonna be the blind guy? You? Yeah. Me? Oh my god! Stay behind you! Behind you. You're right. About me and Dad. I'm sorry that the last time I was with him, I tried to pick a fight. And I'm not all right. Not at all. But neither are you. Oh, God. Letting it all out. Because he knows something that we don't know. Okay, so that episode was mainly Monster of the Week, but it did have some good points in. We've been introduced to Ellen and her daughter, which I like. Their char characters seem interesting, as does Ash. Really kooky character there, but I do like him. We know that Dean knows something, but Sam doesn't know what it is. Dean's holding it. It seems to be eating away at him a little bit, as if he wants to say something maybe, but can't. I don't know. I liked that they used this whole clown plot as a sort of distraction from what was going on and it sort of 
bringing them together and allowed them to open up about a few things. So yeah, I think that's pretty much it really. Monster of the Week mainly, but with some really emotional sections. Hello, welcome back. So that was episode two. I'm now on episode three. I'm going to try this new setup while I, I do this one. So here goes. Red Lodge, Montana. Oh, there's me. That would be me. I'm pretty sure he knows where you are. Oh, no, he ran straight past. What the hell? Is he blind? Mother... Wait a second. Was that the, the hook man from the season one? Maybe we should uh, you know, look in her mouth, see if those wackos stuffed anything down her throat, you know, kind of like a moth and sounds of the lambs. <sighs> Oh, what? Blech. What the hell is that? What is that, a hole? Uh, what? Sam, that's a fang. <gasps> Retractable set of vampire fangs. You gotta be kidding me. You wanna stick that thing someplace else? I'm not a vampire. Sam and Dean Winchester. Oh, he's the I guy with the hook. It. You know, I met your old man once. Hell of a guy. Great hunter. Dean losing it now. Is this how he's dealing with the death of his dad? Oh no. Yeah. And you can see the fear in Sam's face now. He knows what's going down. So you're always saying to yourself, you'll always be around. Nothing can kill my dad. And just like that. He's gone. Can't talk about this to Sammy. <laughs> you know, I gotta keep my game face on. <clears throat> Why though? But uh, the truth is I'm not handling it very well. He knows it. He's not stupid. He may as well just talk Billy, to him. I have this hole inside you. And it just gets bigger and bigger and darker and darker. Good. You can use it. Keeps you hungry. I got a question. Yeah, shoot. You ever run across a guy named Gordon Walker? We're kind of working with him, I guess. I don't do that, Sam. Wait, I, what? I thought you said he was a good hunter. Yeah, and Hannibal Lecter's a good psychiatrist. Look, he is dangerous to everyone and everything around him. He's always getting taken, Sam. Wait. Step back, Eli. We're not like the others. We don't kill humans, and we don't drink their blood. We haven't for a long time. What is this, some kind of joke? Notice you're still alive. So these vampires are like good vampires, and you don't want to hurt anyone. I don't know why they let you go. I don't really care. We find them and we waste them. Why? Why isn't he listening? If it's supernatural, we kill it. End of story. That's our job. No, Dean, that is not our job. Our job is hunting evil. You know what? I'm not even. You know what? You slap about. on this big fake smile, but I can see right through it because I know how you feel, Dean. Dad's dead, and he left a hole, and it hurts so bad you can't take it. But you can't just fill up that hole with whoever you want to. Oh, Dean. So I'm getting his ass beat yet again. Every time, a lot of jump ones in this. <laughs> oh wait, doesn't a dead man's blood drug them? Yeah, instead of killing them. Yeah, yeah, I remember now. What's going on? Just poisoning Lenore here with some dead man's blood. She's gonna tell us where all her little friends are, aren't you? Gordon, I'm letting her go. You're not doing a damn thing. Hey, hey, hey. Gordon, let's talk about this. What's there to talk about? It's like I said, Dean. No shades of gray. The vampire that killed your sister deserved to die, but this... <laughs> a filthy fang didn't kill my sister. It turned her. So I hunted her down, and I killed her myself. 
You did what? You just didn't CD care. You should have trusted Sammy. Let him go. No. You hear her, Gordon? No. No. We're done here. I think you and I got some things to talk about. Like how you murdered your sister? No. That might be like you. But you're the one tied up right now. Well, it's been real. God, it looks like he's gonna absolutely... <laughs> okay. I'm good now. Hopefully he's just got all of that tension out on him rather than continuing on this downward spiral of aggression. Sam, <clears throat> clock me one. What? Huh? What? Come on. Come on, I won't even hit your back. Feels bad about what he said because <sighs> he punched Let's him. Let's go. You get a freebie. Hit me. Come on. <sighs> you look like you just went 12 rounds with a block of cement, Dane. I'll take a rain check. You didn't kill Lenore. No, but every instinct told me to. I wasn't going to kill her. I was going to kill them all. Yeah, Dane, but you didn't. And that's what matters. Sam's like his angel on his shoulder and he's still got this devil. If you're a pain in my ass. Like a dark passenger telling him to kill all the voice of his dad. Have to stick around and be a pain in the ass then. Just to do a quick recap on what we've seen so far. So basically Dean's struggling with his dad's death. He wants to get all of his anger out and just kill everything in sight and Sam can see right through it but Dean thinks that he's putting on a front that Sam can't see and he's trying to be strong for him but it's so clear and obvious that it is exactly that it's a front he's struggling with his dad's death and he may as well just talk about it this whole like trying to put on a brave face for the sake of sam it doesn't make any sense to me it really doesn't one thing i wanted to mention that i didn't mention on the other video was that dean got a goodbye from his dad he got a really strong thanks for everything that you've done it hasn't been taken for granted i appreciate all that you do dean and goodbye whispers something to him that we still well i'm still unsure about what it was unless it was just i sacrificed myself for you and that was the secret i don't know whereas sam he just got I don't know why we're fighting, I wish we didn't fight. Let's just not fight anymore. Can you grab me a coffee? And then Sam comes back with the coffee and he's dead. And it just, I don't know, it just seems really harsh. And someone mentioned it in my comments that they still feel anger towards that. And, and I can see why, because yes, they had their troubles, Sam and, um, why can't I think of his name? The dad anyway, Negan. <laughs> Jeffrey D. Morgan. And they had their fights and they and they clashed a lot, but he would have still sacrificed himself for him when it, if it come down to it because he loves his sons. Yeah, there is this sort of double standard that they seem to have and it's a shame that that wasn't resolved before the death because there's nothing worse than having certain things like that unanswered and unable to be resolved. Well, I mean, I guess with Supernatural it's a bit different because maybe he can be resurrected somehow or maybe a message can be sent somehow i don't know there's still possibilities i guess so episode three i feel like the main point of episode three was that dean was angry sam noticed dean realized his wrongdoings and apologized i don't feel like there was anything else significant other than that i guess the whole vampires being good vampires maybe there's more to be explored there in future episodes but yeah it was kind of a filler episode other than the the raw emotional scenes there but still enjoyed it obviously i mean i feel like i'm not gonna not enjoy an episode of supernatural and they all seem pretty good and yeah okay so i hope you guys enjoyed this merged reaction video if you did give it a cheeky thumbs up and subscribe if you want to you know there's no pressure here and i hopefully see you again soon for another video bye guys